Well, we've already covered Howard Kurtz and the s stupid stuff he said about Jason Collins, who was the professional basketball player who came out of the closet, and then Howard Kurtz attacked him. But a lot of people, and he did a mea culpa on it, but a lot of people didn't see this video that he made with someone named Lauren Ashburn, who is now the, uh, started up this place called The Daily Download. It's a website called The Daily Download, which sounds filthy. But uh, so uh, this is a and, and they have great uh, patter. It's like the friggin' Smothers Brothers. These two. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. here's so here's their great here's one of their daily downloads that Howard Kurtz and this Lauren Ashburn made. And um, I, I guess the new form of journalism is you just get a flip phone and go out in your backyard with mm. somebody, right? That's pretty much. Mm. So let's we'll see what it is. Well, that Jason Collins, the NBA <laughs> superstar, comes out that he's gay. Now we learn that he was engaged for eight years to Carolyn Moose, who was shocked at his decision. How could she not know? I, <laughs> I have no idea. But Piers Morgan had her on CNN, and she says she wishes him the best. But it really is shocking, and what makes it a second day story, that she didn't know. Um, you know, without getting into the details of their engagement, and he broke it off, and it's nice for her to take the high road. I bet she is not that thrilled about this. And it's trending on Google. Well, okay. <laughs> Everybody wants to know. But here's the thing. You know, I thought that Jason Collins handled with great class the interview that he did with Sports Illustrated, the interview that he did with George Stephanopoulos, but it turns out he didn't tell the whole story. He says, I'm gay, I've always been gay, and yet he so was pissed. with this woman. I feel <laughs> shortchanged. <laughs> I feel like... Wait, uh, do you always tell the whole story? <laughs> yes, as a journalist, I am committed to giving you all the facts as I but know them. But he's not a journalist. Okay, but he is making a decision, which, by the way, hasn't hurt him. President Obama called him. It Bill Clinton loves him. him. Right? I it, didn't know who he was. You, nobody knew who he was because <laughs> he's not a superstar. He's a journeyman. But, but here's the thing. If you're going to come out with this very personal, heartfelt, I'm gay, I'm feeling, finally feel like I need to unburden myself, well, if you leave out the fact that you dated this woman for eight years and you were engaged to be married, then you have not told the whole story. And I think this really muddies the plot line here. What are you saying? He's not gay? Obviously, he, uh, in basketball terms, has played both sides of the court. <laughs> no one says that. And that's fine. I'm not sitting in judgment of him. He did not go there. It's not a oh, saying. I did. <laughs> <laughs> but I do think it undermines a little bit the notion that he tried to project um, that he was totally coming clean about his personal life. Well, it makes it fascinating makes it a great second day story i want to see more interviews with her yeah well nobody <laughs> wants to see more of those fucking interviews. <laughs> like holy a... shit i mean i've seen more <laughs> substantive conversations on maury <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was like, uh, it's really a modern day who's on first there. Oh. I mean, they're like, the <laughs> back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> Get kid, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. And because he was engaged to someone when he was in the closet, that means I can attack him for being gay. <laughs> That's why it's called a closet, because yeah. you're in it. He doesn't, so Howard Kurtz obviously does not understand how the closet works. Nope. Doesn't. Yeah, you're in the closet means you're acting straight. Mm -hmm. You're going through the motions. You frickin' moron. You, you might, might even, tell your girlfriend. Yeah. You might, even, you might even have sex with a girl. You might even have sex with a girl. You might yeah. even marry a girl. That's right. It's been known to happen. Um, this uh, is like news to Coward Kurtz. This, oh my God, as if somehow that's... Yeah, and again, and it was in the story. That's yes. the other great thing. It was in the, he did <laughs> say it story. in the story. Uh, and uh, also, like, they're outraged. Here's who's not outraged. She's not outraged. Right. Right. They keep saying, I'd like to see more with her. You did see more with her. And she said, congratulations <laughs> yeah, to Jason Collins. I wish him she all the best. She doesn't agree with him at all on anything. <laughs> right. Yeah. She's Howard totally Kurt. against... Uh, he goes, I'm his, glad his she his took the high road up, but I bet she <laughs> is bent <laughs> <laughs> Right. Well, oh, come on. It's a ha -ha -ha. She's upset, right? <laughs> well, ever... So how many times do they tell it is a decision? Right. He's not making a decision. Yes. This is not a decision. That he's gay. Yes. It, yeah, he's gay. He always was gay. That's right. Yeah. The decision he made was to pretend not to be gay. Right. And, right. and the thing that you as a journalist should do is understand how difficult it is to live as a gay man in a straight society, especially when you're in the public eye and you're an athlete, right? So all those pressures. But Howard Kurtz, oh my God, he was lying. He, you know, he dated a woman. Oh my God, you're kidding. He played both sides of the court, which is a the, saying nobody fucking says. No, that's not a basketball saying. Yes. Um, uh, my favorite part of it uh, was, in fact, my least favorite. 
favorite part of it it was uh, the w seeing a grown woman say you did not go there uh, <laughs> makes me not want to have sex with anyone Any right. at all at all at you did not go there <laughs> she's the former managing editor of USA Today television that woman right there and uh, no she did not win a Pulitzer and uh, USA Today Television. Yeah, Fun there was. Fact. They had. They had uh, you give us 22 seconds, we'll give you the world. Yeah. <laughs> 22 seconds. This just in. Drought. Back to you. Yeah. <laughs> you give us 30 seconds, we'll give you 22 seconds of bullshit and eight seconds of commercials. After she said you did not just go there. <laughs> After she said that, she went on to solve some of the. She cracked some of the biggest stories of 1995. <laughs>